Hello guys, today I'm gonna tell you what is Catalyst, the working of Catalyst, the purpose of Catalyst, okay? So let's start without wasting our time. First of all, it is a substance which speeds up a chemical reaction by providing an alternate route to the system which has less activation energy, okay? What does this mean? Suppose that Suppose that these are the axes and here we have You can say here we have Reactants and here these Okay, sorry Here we have our products Products Reactants Okay, okay, so as you know very well that this is our activation energy, okay? So when we will use a catalyst in this reaction, what will happen? The catalyst will reduce this activation energy, this activation energy, the catalyst will reduce. How? It will provide an alternate route to this reaction like this. Like this. As you can observe that, the activation energy has been reduced when we use the catalyst okay so this is the first purpose of catalyst okay i think that this point is clear to you now now the next point catalyst does not start those reactions which are not visible means uh, catalyst will not start those reactions which are not possible which do not exist okay small amount of catalyst is enough to increase the speed of a chemical reaction means small amount it means uh, if you will add 2 kg or 3 kg it does not affect that if you will use 0 0.5 kg or something else it will sufficient or enough to uh, work in that chemical reaction okay and it's not a good thing to put 2 kg catalyst because catalyst is not cheap. It's very expensive. Okay. Now, if sufficient amount of catalyst is already added in a chemical reaction, then further increase in the amount of a catalyst does not affect the rate of a chemical reaction. No. Let's start. Uh, I mean, let's discuss this point. What this point says okay this point says that for example you have a specific reaction and it needs 0 0.5 kg of catalyst okay that reaction needs this this amount of catalyst okay but if you will add 2 kg catalyst okay what do you think what you can expect that will the reaction be very fast no because this is the actual amount which we need to fast the reaction to fasten the reaction to reduce the activation energy if we will add excess excess catalyst it will not affect that okay it will be your loss or you can say that will be the disadvantage to the company or the one who is using that okay i hope this is clear to you uh, this one catalyst may change its physical properties state during the chemical reaction but chemically it does not consume in the chemical reaction means it do not take part in chemical reaction actually in simple words this is the meaning of that sentence that the physical properties can be changed but chemically it is unchanged physical properties means color its color can be changed or something else the physical properties which we have discussed in the previous videos what are the physical properties but chemically it will remain same okay this is a very important point for the point of view of mcqs okay increase in surface area of catalyst increase the rate of reaction how this work how uh, what is the meaning of this statement no suppose that if you have this one suppose that it is a catalyst 
suppose catalyst okay suppose that two molecules are acting on it three molecules are acting on it from here three from here three from here three from here and three from here okay suppose if i break down it into smaller pieces mean i increase the surface area of this catalyst i break it down into smaller pieces suppose here 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 and here now two from here 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 two 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 now you can um, uh, you can notice that when we break down that catalyst into smaller ones means we have in other words or in simple words we have increased the surface area of the catalyst now the reaction becomes more fast because the surface area has been increased at this point only uh, 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 3, 12 only 12 molecules are acting on it while over here uh, you can see 8, 8, 8 and how many much more molecules are acting on the surface of the catalyst so automatically the you can say the speed of the chemical reaction will increase the rate of the chemical reaction will increase okay each chemical reaction has a specific catalyst okay means e uh, there are specific catalysts for the specific reactions like to prepare ammonia to prepare ammonia we need what we need iron iron is used as a catalyst in this okay while to prepare margarine we need a catalyst that is basically nickel so we can't use a catalyst of our own will these are specific for specific chemical reactions and one more important point usually transition metals are used as catalysts because they are less reactive okay what are transition metals here i have a copy of periodic table and here i'm showing that these are these these are the transition metals these are what these are the transition metals and these can be used as catalyst okay so i hope this is clear to you and this is also a very important point all these points are basically very important because these are i have written over here these are the most important points of the catalyst okay and these points cover the whole topic of the catalyst okay catalyst lowers the cost of a chemical reaction basic uh, obviously it lowers the cost because uh, as i shown you already that it provide an alternate it provides an alternate route like here we have products here we have reactants as you know it provides an alternate route so it is lowering down the activation energy it means less fuel is going to be observed which we are using coal natural gas means the reaction will completed in a shorter time okay as compared to the reaction when we are not using catalyst okay so obviously it will lowers down the cost of the chemical reaction okay catalyst can take part in a chemical reaction but it is unchanged at the end of the chemical reaction i have already explained this point uh, 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 before this point before some of these points okay and the next point is catalyst does not increase the yield of chemical reaction what does this mean what this point is going to be going to say this is saying that it cannot increase the yield mean the products suppose 
the yield of the chemical reaction is 20 kg it is not going to be like that when we add catalyst it's going to be 25 kg or 30 kg it will remain same but the purpose of using a catalyst what is what as i told you already that the main and the basic purpose of the catalyst is to fasten the chemical reaction to speed up the chemical reaction to save the time okay now the next point catalyst does not affect the enthalpy change what is the enthalpy change oh, sorry this is the enthalpy change uh, which i'm going to show right now this one this one is what the enthalpy change this thing and it will not change either we use a uh, catalyst either we don't use a uh, catalyst okay it will remain same in each case okay in a reversible reaction catalyst increases the rate of forward and backward reaction simultaneously it's obvious okay so this is the whole this is whole about the catalyst and i hope it's clear to you because i explained each and everything about catalyst so i don't think that any confusion is remaining so allow this